Hello students. We meet again for our next English lesson. Welcome to ITTV. I'm Miss Helen, your Form 3 English language tutor. Our lesson for today, adjectives of color, size and shape. Now, as you know, adjectives qualify nouns. They tell you more about what is going to be said. Adjectives of color, size and shape. Color, violet, size, large, shape, triangle. Next, color, orange, size, tiny, shape, trapezium. Next, color, green, size, gigantic, shape, diamond. Next, color, peach, size, short, shape, oval. Now, we are going to look at sentences where these adjectives are used. So pay attention and follow carefully. The old woman walked slowly down the road. The little boy donated some money to the beggars who were sitting under the bridge. Now in the above sentences, the adjectives old and little show the qualities of the woman and the boy respectively. They tell you what kind of a woman was that? An old woman. The boy, a little boy. So old and little are adjectives. Adjectives of quality answer the question, what kind of? So here we have what kind of woman walks slowly? An old woman. What kind of a boy donated the money? A little boy. Here we have example, what kind of woman? Old woman. Old is the adjective, woman is the noun. So old tells you more about the noun. Here woman is the noun, old adjective. Adjective qualifies the noun. What kind of boy? Little boy. So it tells you more about the boy, gives you a clearer picture. Next, we have more examples on colors. So look at number one. What are the colors in a rainbow? Look at a rainbow and I'm sure you've seen a rainbow. So the answer red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Now, I'm sure you've learned about the colors of a rainbow in your primary school science. So I hope you remember that. Now we're going to continue further on adjectives based on shapes. What are the shapes of vases you see? Now look at the pictures here. We have different types of shapes. Observe them. Let's look at the answer. Round, square, conical shape and star. Now you might be wondering conical. Now look at a cone. It comes this way and that is conical. Now we have more examples for you. These are adjectives based on size. What is the size of the things you see? Now look at the pictures carefully. You are going to use the correct adjectives to qualify these nouns. Think. All right, now let's look at the answer. Fat man, thin man, the elephant. 
you have a large elephant and you also have a small elephant. So the adjectives give you a clearer picture about the noun. All right, students, now we're going to continue on adjectives. Exercise one. Students, you are required to identify the six adjectives of color, size, and shape in the picture given. Now here you have a picture that shows a scene by the seaside. I'm sure you all have been to the seaside. So look at the picture and think of the adjectives. Tall man standing beside short man. Tall man, tall tells you about the man and the other one is another man but he's short. Fat baby and thin baby by the sand castle. Old man and young boy sitting on a rectangular mat. A square basket and oval shaped plates triangular shaped sandwiches on the plate on the mat. Two balls, a few cones lying around, boy holding big and small balloons. Color. We are still on color and different colors are all adjectives. So here, clothes of six various colors. So we are going to have colorful clothes. Shape, the different shapes, they are all adjectives. Round balls, cones. Now, you also have ice creams. I'm sure you've eaten the cone ice cream. So next time when you're eating an ice cream, think of the adjective, cones. Rectangular mat, square basket, oval shaped plates, triangular shaped sandwiches. Next, we go on to size. Big balloon. So it gives you a very clear picture. How big is the balloon? Big balloon. Small balloon. Fat baby. Thin baby. Tall man. Short man. Now we are going to go on to an exercise where you're required to fill in with suitable adjectives of color, size, and shape. Number one, Mr. Northern is buying a blank Batik shirt. Answer, Mr. Northern is buying a blue Batik shirt. So you can visualize what kind of a Batik shirt is it? It's going to be a blue Batik shirt. Number two, Tina bought a bouquet of blank flowers. All right, look at the answer. Tina bought a bouquet of yellow flowers. So what kind of flowers? What color? Yellow, that's the adjective. Number three, the sun appeared like a dash ball of fire. Answer. The sun appeared like a huge ball of fire. So it gives you a very clear picture. Now adjectives always give you a clear picture. Next, number four. The hornbill is a dash bird. Now, what adjective are you going to use for this? Think. Answer. The hornbill is a large bird. Next, number five. The blank man was having difficulty in breathing after climbing up a flight of steps at the Batu Caves temple. So think of the correct adjective. What kind of a man? 
Answer. The fat man. Definitely a fat man is going to find difficulty, isn't it? So that's the appropriate adjective. The fat man was having difficulty in breathing after climbing up the flight of steps at the Batu Caves temple. Number six, the sky was ablaze with blank and golden hues. Think of the adjective. Answer. The sky was ablaze with red and golden hues. Now hues is shades. Number seven, the blank. Girl was crying because she did not have enough money. Now look at the situation. Think of the correct adjective. Answer. The little girl was crying because she did not have enough money. Now students, now the answer given here is little, but there are situations where you can use different adjectives. Keep that in mind. Number eight. Mum bought a blank mirror to hang in the bathroom. What kind of a mirror did she buy? So definitely, what comes to your mind? Shapes. Look at the answer. Mum bought a round mirror to hang in the bathroom. Now we have mirrors that come in different shapes. Some are fanciful shapes. So here we are using the adjective round. You can also use other adjectives to describe the mirror. Number nine, Mina is rather blank and blank. So here you are required to give two adjectives. Answer, Mina is rather short and fat. All right, students, number 10. The fisherman caught a lot of blank fish. Think of the correct adjective. Answer. The fisherman caught a lot of small fish. So you get a clear picture. What kind of fishes? Small fishes. All right, now we are going to go on to another exercise where you are going to have a game. Exercise two, can you draw this design? Now, this design is based on shapes and colors. So, get ready. Draw a large square. Think of the shape, a large square. Then, draw semicircles around the square. In the square, draw many small circles. Now, look at the adjectives used in these instructions here. Large, semi, semi tells you what kind of a circle, semi, square and small. See, all the adjectives are there. Next, we are going to continue. Now, below the large square, draw two rectangles. Now you're going to get a beautiful design, okay? Now, color the square red, semicircles yellow, Small circles black and the rectangles green. How does it look? All right, students, I hope you have understood the lesson on adjectives that's based on color, size, and shapes. And you've also done the design. I hope you've enjoyed the design. Now, I'm going to summarize the whole lesson, so pay attention. <music> Number one, 
adjectives of color, shape and size. So colors, shapes and sizes are all adjectives. All colors, different shapes and sizes qualify nouns. For example, a box. Now what kind of a box? A rectangular box? So that tells you more about the box. So adjectives qualify nouns. Number three, thus these words that qualify nouns are called adjectives. Now, if we don't have adjectives, we won't get a very clear picture. For example, students. What kind of students? Good students? Hardworking students? Now, I'm sure you are all hardworking students. So remember the adjectives and Remember students what you have learned today. Now practice your adjectives and you will not forget this lesson. Have fun with adjectives. Till we meet next time. Bye for now. Thank you.